So in two or three days, I'll be bringing the boat to uh, Les Sables d'Olonne for the start of the mini transat. And because the boat comes back uh, on a cargo, we need to prepare the cradle to be shipped uh, to Guadeloupe. So we mount the cradle back uh, on its foot over there and then put the boat onto the cradle for it to return to Guadeloupe. All right, today is a big day. It's the day I'm taking the boat to Les Sables de Lonne for the start of the mini transat. Still a few days ahead, but, uh, but yeah, no more coming back to La Turbal until uh, December. All right, let's go. That's it, La Turbal, a year and a half of training and living there over. On the way to the Sable d'Olonne, it's gonna be a nice slide downwind. Uh, I have Christian behind me, who'll be, uh, be delivering with me. Ah, it's the beginning of a page that is turning, so super nice. Excited to be in Les Abdolon with everyone. Uh, yeah, let's go. So I just received this before leaving. That's supposed to be like on the dog side. It's extra sail area for now. It's also great for like wind, apparent wind angle calculation.
Good morning. Alright, I arrived during the night yesterday. And now? So for now there is only a few minis but soon everything here will be full of 90 minis that's gonna be pretty fun I still had a few days left before the start of the measurement period just enough to go back home to say bye to family and friends but also to meet with the kids from the school who are following me closely who knows Maybe they all turn to sailing after that. Et Antoine, euh, je te sens chaud, tu veux faire la mienne aussi Ah non, c'est bon là Putain, c'est pas... Oh non, c'est la troisième là <rire> C'est vrai Bon, je te libère. Alright, it's been uh, three days now that I am on the race village uh, preparing the boat for the mini transat and I'm almost done. So what has been happening is that, you know, I've been preparing the boat on my side, of course, but there's also many checks that we need to do uh, with the class, with the race organization, with the French uh, sailing association. There is, for example, what we call the uh, safety check. Um, it checks that all the elements that we should have on board are on board and also exclude some uh, things so for example we have to carry a jerry can of 10 liters of water that is um, a spare water that is sealed see this little seal here with a number um, this has been said by um, uh, an arbiter a judge of the of the race basically this water i'm not allowed to touch unless you know i really need it this the idea is to avoid um running out of water because you know you you think you're almost uh there you finish the race uh there is light wind you empty all your other water tanks and then suddenly uh takes the race takes three more days and you run out of water so this one if you open it you get a penalty so the idea is that of course you can use it but it will cost you something normally we have plenty of water uh just we need to manage it well uh same thing for the the anchor the anchor we have um i had to wait it and to make sure the cable was long enough because of course there's some people uh drilling through it or removing weight from it so it decreases structural efficiency so the idea is that we all have the same anchor at least Someone who wants to take a bigger anchor, no problem, but we have at least an anchor that is uh, heavy enough uh, for the, the rule, and it's already not a lot. Also, so for example, for the first uh, leg, uh, we are allowed uh, 60 liter of water maximum, and for the second leg, we are allowed 140 liters maximum. So basically, I have these tanks here, and one on the other here that I'll take for the first leg, these are the tanks uh, for the second leg, for the water for the second leg that will add to the first ones. 
but these ones they have the same seal and actually see they all have the seal but I've taped it so I'm sure not to break it um, why do we seal the empty containers and why do we have a maximum limit it can seem strange but the idea is that we cannot over ballast uh, the boats all these kind of regulation are done because of people I call uh, extremists of ballasting extremists of ballasting what they do is that in heavy weather they'll grab you know many tanks like this put a lot 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 of weight to windward and to the back of the boat so they can put more sails up to have like more writing momentum and that's dangerous basically at some point that's why we have a maximum quantity of containers we are allowed to have on board in order not to over ballast and on the second leg same thing we're allowed 140 liters of container and this includes uh, the small um, drinking bottles everything it's 140 liters maximum so yeah, that has been one part of the prep. I also have, so this is my safety bag with uh, in it, um, you know, a VHF, uh, a few flares, things like this. And this one is sealed as well. In here I have my uh, uh, TPS. I have different safety uh, elements. This is my safety bag. Here in the back I have the life raft and the two batteries these are uh, sealed as well uh, by the race committee because same thing bloody ballasting extremist they uh, play to change everything uh, move everything so the life raft they will put it like in the front in light wind uh, to improve the balance of the boat uh, same thing with their batteries. It's it's a nonsense. I agree, but some people do it So we have to seal all those things and if uh, the seal is broken you get a penalty so That's pretty much what I've been doing the past uh, few days. There is many checks many box to tick uh, They're also been controlling that the VHF uh, Was working properly that we had the good emission. They they tested the toes don't really know what this stands for but how good the emission quality uh, of your VHF is and yeah now I have one thing to do today which is going and cleaning the bottom of the boat because she's been sitting in the water since a week now so I need to go and do a little clean which is not my favorite part but have to do it anyway so yeah, and then just a bit of tidying up. I kept a little list of things to do um, here, so I don't go crazy just waiting for the sound. But it's it's minor thing, little splicing here and there, little thingy. So yeah. All right, let's go. So I'm just procrastinating the diving into the boat. So I'm going to go and do my rig check now. Yeah. Let's go. Okay, I think there is no more progress in anything possible, so let's go. Another way of uh, gaining weight is uh, sorting out the mess. So I'm doing this with the toolbox. So I already already removed all these tools that I'm not taking with me, just keeping the essential. Uh, one easy thing to do is kind of check which size of uh, wrenches you need. Like there's some wrenches you'll need more than others and there's some that you won't need at all on your boat because you know that you have, I don't know, no 16 millimeter bolt. So that's one way to do, check all your bolts, know all the sizes of uh, of uh, wrenches you'll need and, and just adapt. I also, also check the bolts. This is like all the bolts and nuts 
I have, I just keeping, uh, you know, a few ones and also uh, I know which ones are key. For example, the bolts for the uh, steering system, uh, the bolts for holding the full stay, things like this. I know that, you know, if I have to repair something, I drop one in the water, I have one replacement. And I'm going to do the same thing for uh, the splicing bag, just keeping the essential. And, um, and yeah, that's the plan. So let's go. Tous les ministres ont été parqués. Ça va les ministres 187, Ouais du euh, coach euh, sportif. Coach mental. <rire> Alors, euh, tu vas s'en commencer cette course, Romain. Ouais, là, je... De toute façon, nous, euh, si c'est pas un podium, on prend pas le départ. Voilà, là, c'est les derniers préparatifs. La course est après-demain. Le départ de la course est après-demain. Dernier petit préparatif. Euh, et, euh, et voilà, se reposer, petite sieste. Ça fait plaisir de parler français. <rire> de préparation psychologique on voit bien que euh, Antoine euh, Antoine euh, fait de la grosse préparation psychologique ça va la pêche bah, en fait moi je prends pas de bouffe c'est trop lourd c'est ça que je me euh, que je ça. donc tu prends la, la canne à pêche et tu pêches carrément très bien avec ça je vais vous gratter la crème de la crème euh, de la mini transat est ici euh. we try to imagine the the, uh, the moment the between um, on Sunday you come close to the boat until Uh, until the start. Alors Romain, ça fait quoi d'être au Ponton Vendée Globe Les diamants. Ils sont où les bateaux <rire> J'avais gardé une petite activité méditative euh, pour les, les derniers moments de la préparation avec Romain. C'est cool de démonter les wins ou pas Super, super, la main dans les sens, impeccable. <rire> Je me mettais bien qu'il y aurait deux, trois missions à la con quand même. <rire> Et pourtant, nettoyer des wins à la brosse à dents, c'est vraiment génial. Mais qu'est-ce qu'on s'amuse <rire> ouais, C'est dans les petits détails qu'on qu fait la différence. So the mini train that is starting uh, the day after tomorrow and everyone came to visit me before the start. Boat is 100% ready and so I am and it's really nice to have everyone before the start even it's a little bit disturbing it's really nice to uh, get to say bye to everyone and get to see everyone that is uh, behind the project and despite it's a single-ended race it's definitely a team uh, effort and a team race with all the mini friends around and the family right here <laughs> <laughs> 